G'day everybody and welcome back to Dog Shadow Gaming, the channel where we live to game and game to live. As always, I'm Belf, and today we're looking at episode 6 in our Mortal Empires campaign, a legendary campaign for Ikit Claw. Now, I've been having a lot of fun with this one, and I hope you have too. So, uh, we'll be right back after this, and we'll get stuck right in. <laughs> Okay guys, we're back and I hope you're ready for some more action in this series. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I hope you've been having fun watching along. Um, uh, I think we're going to go down the growth path again. Um, now growth is doing well. We're at 156 growth, which is good. Finally getting some positive... This game, like, we are sitting in it, though, however. Now, in our last one, we were recruiting some more Warp Gazelles. We're going to do four Warp Gazelles. Um, we've got two... Uh, we've got two Rattling Gun units and a... a uh, blah, 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 warp Fire Throw Weapons team. So, I kind of want to do more, but at this point, we'll just we'll just wait and see. We might, you know, we might get rid of this, put another um, Rattling Gun unit. I'm not really sure yet. And this will give us good long range support that we need. This gives us just stuff to mop stuff up and sort of keep it um, fielded. This will give us more long range poke, which is great, four of them. Um, and then if things do get closer, we're going to be smashing it with our guns. Now, in the last episode, we did upgrade the Warp Giselles again. We got the second one. So we can, we've now got Attribute of Stalker on them, which is really good, and Missile Resistance, which is great. Next one is Craven rounds um armor piercing missile damage plus 25 percent percent for warp fire with the warp block giselles and range plus 12 percent for warlock giselles which is really really good um and then we're going to go rattling gunners reload time is very nice and then craw claw crafted bullets ammunition plus 10 for rattling guns and missile damage very very nice i think we will go down this if we decide we like these because this does make them a little bit more a little bit more maybe a little bit more viable which is cool now um, we're, we're all right. We're in the green, so we're doing really well for food. We're not having any real major issues here. Um, we are just about to throw in a wall there, which is much needed. Um, and then we're going to put... Uh, we've already got a growth and one of those, so we want to put one of these and one of these in there um, to get those sort of things going. So what we'll probably start with on this front is... Uh, we'll probably do the um, probably the Taskmaster's platform, I reckon. Yeah, try and get that up and rolling. Now, um, we're doing okay. We don't. The only enemies we have at the moment is Carcass, uh, Castle Carcass on, and it looks like it's being besieged. Brion is gone, which is interesting. Uh, looks like Castle Carcassonne will be next. They're being besieged as we speak. So once it's done, we might send this fella up there to, um, well, re, uh, repopulate them, as it were, and get that uh, on the road. But we're starting to slowly build and get our stuff going. Um, next, we'll start to do some underway. I know we're about 20, turn 24 and we still haven't done any of the underways, but I just, honestly, they're really expensive. Like, it's a couple of grand to get... To get sort of get them to somewhere where they're worth something it's like four or five grand and if you're taking four or five grand away from building buildings well i don't know if it's worth it at this stage you need to get yourself sort of a, a base to set up with um so we will start doing it i will start using it but i just haven't decided to use it yet i want to put the money into other things right now um we are about to get some of the new toys some more of the new toys i should say so that's gonna be fun anyway i'll see you after the uh the gap all right and we're back uh storm clouds gather in the north there are rumors of the barbarous tribes residing in the shadows of chaos have ceased striving against each other for their attention of the dark gods and are instead banding together to suckle at the teeth of chaos all right so we got the chaos stirs we all know that one i am the law spent multiple times in a settlement with low public order okay so he's good that's good that's good uh battle blood soaked so weapons damage plus 24 armies um all factions faction wide all right that's cool uh, what else have we got? So, peace negotiated between pa Parvion and Wood Elves. Uh, okay, everyone's at war with Castle Carcassonne. 
Okay, our stairs, the tryout gain, buildings constructed. Where are we going there? Uh, construction on construction Tabaro, Estalia, and construction complete there. So, if we have a look now, Estalia is getting there very, very slowly, but we are getting there nonetheless. So, we probably want to start popping in other bits and pieces. But one of the first things I think that we should do is. I kind of want to put one of those in there. However, that would be nice too. So that'll give us some cash. Yeah, that would give us some cash. So let's do that. Keep cash flowing. As we're just upgrading the army now, and that's going to be expensive. So we got we got some of the upgrades. We got another turn before the rest of our upgrades are ready to rock and roll. Um, but we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. And the next question is, where do we go from here? I mean, do we do we clean up the coast or do we head over here and see what's going on over here? Um, I'm kind of the opinion we could just pretty much send our guys out. Two more turns before that's up and running. Once that's up and running... Warp Lock Engineer, two Clan Rats, three Clan Rats with shields, two Night Runners, Skaven Slaves. Once that's up going, we have Play Call Catapult. Uh, two Clan of Spears, we've got to, yeah. So it should be fairly defensible by that stage. It should be okay. Um, it would take a pretty much a 20 stack, and even then it would have to be a fairly decent 20 stack to attack walls with that kind of a garrison behind it. Um, Bill Bailey and Tabaro still need walls and bits and pieces, so they need... Um, string fields, but we are getting there slowly, ever so slowly. Um, that's really what I want to put in there, and then we're going to put it again in there. So, Starly is slowly starting to get there. We're in the positives. Everything's looking fairly dandy, and we're just recruiting now. And, yeah, so 150, 150 is another 300 there. Another sort of 300 there. So we're going to lose 600 off this. So it is going to pull us down. So we are going to need to keep moving a little bit. Um, feeling like we could... Oh, I mean, I'm feeling like we could potentially hit this skull um, with our new... You know, with our Warp Lock Giselles putting out that damage, plus these guys, plus the Doom Flayers. I'm feeling like we should be able to handle that that uh, skull there, I reckon. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, we've got a turn ahead of us, so let's uh, let's turn that, and I'll see you after the turn timer. As always, guys, I'll pull them out so you don't have to watch. Okie dokie. Now. All right, so we've got our four Giselles. We've got our two um, Rattling Guns. We've got our Warfire Thrower. We've got our three Play Calls. So there's quite a lot of range damage going on now. And we've got a fairly solid just front line of Chaff units just to basically stand in the way if something gets too close. Uh, from here, I'm thinking we can probably take this. The Empire. The Nation Calls. The only issue that I have with this is these two mortars. Outside of that, we should be able to deal with most of... The only the only other thing that I have, I should say, is that we have mostly artillery. Um, but the two armies should be able to deal with it. Um, together, they should be able to deal with it. Get that up and happening. Get that up and happening. So, where are we here? Plus four. It's coming down. We've got one more turn before that, sort of ready to rock and roll. We might... I wonder if he'll take this. If he takes this, then it's worth taking him here, because then I only have to take him and it'll be weakened and I'll have Miragliano as well. Hmm. One more turn for here. Just give skin corruption. It doesn't provide any buffs to uh, food capacity. Provides a garrison. Provides a garrison. This would be nice. Puts us up to 300 income from 150. 
27, we should probably get that happening fairly shortly. This one as well. We'll start bringing our income up a little bit if we start doing those. That's a pretty straight up income. Uh, oh, do we want to do it? Do we want to do it? That's the question. Um, what will they come at us with? Probably a Queen Bess, Rotting Leviathan. Um... Hmm. Stephen Bright's the greatest, best inventor. Tell you what, let's move Master up to here. engineer, warlock of Skaven Blight. Okay. Those two will be our next one. All right, let's uh, let's turn the turn. I think we're going to go and take Maragliano. All right. Now, uh, welcome back after the turn, and let's go through. We got uh, we got some more population surplus, which is nice. We need a little bit more there. We got a defensive alliance with the Ripper Horn, um, Horn Tribe, which is cool. Our walls have been finished, and we've got a new um, point for our warp block there. Uh, elves have gone against the Ripper Tribe. Both the elves have, so that's why it's forced him into that. That's Ote with us. We're going to do that. Um, that's going to keep that growing. <clears throat> Which is good now uh they've finally taken this so now's the time for us to move and we're gonna get moving real soon i think we're gonna move right up to our border here and we're gonna move you Okay, and we can get right up to there. Okay, good. We're all the way up to there. Uh, what are we going to do with you? We're going to range for artillery units. Excellent. Cool. And on the next one, we are going to destroy it. Now, um... They're down here. I don't know where he's secondary unit. Maybe he's hiding. Not really that big of an issue. What else have we got? What did we do here? I had 179. We're going to perform the Doom. Right here. And then, guess where you're going? Earthquake. Establish war walking laboratory. Uh, establish an undercity beneath the target somewhere. Okay, now we want to cause an earthquake. That's what we're going to do. Okay, moving on to the next turn, guys. Next turn, we're going to uh, hopefully blow up Ragliano's walls. All right, uh, harsh production quotas. So recruitment cost minus five for Skaven slaves and growth plus 10. So that's all good. Now, we uh, during the break, the pirates of Sataza have uh, peace negotiated. Uh, Negotiated peace with the Knights of Rigo. War was declared by the Wood Elves on us. That's fine. Construction of our second, uh, or Margarita, the Piston House. And then obviously that. So, let's send this guy over here. In the meantime, you're not within range. I should be able to push you. We're going to declare war here. Let's stay out of that. That's fine. We're going to head up here. He does have another small force up here. He's going to jump in here. That's fine. Uh, we're not at war with you, so that's cool. Um, we're going to bring them up. We're going to blow his walls, and then we'll come in here with them. So it's not a big deal. Uh, in the meantime, how are we going here? Plus seven. That's not great, but it's not too bad. 
They look like they're no longer under siege, but... Let's see if we can peace out with them for now. I wasn't going to, but now that I've just started another war. Those who do no evil doer may receive the blessings of the lady. Mm. You can pay me for it, I think. How much more will you pay me for it, is the question. Uh, not quite that much, it would seem. No. You will pay me. Those who displease me do not live to tell of it. If you desire it. Okay, we've got peace with them, which means we're now only at war with the wood elves and these guys. We need to finish up this war fairly quickly. Uh, get down and take this out if we can. Looks like he's still hanging around. So the orcs have managed to hold their ground against Balagar, which is interesting. Uh, and the wood elves seem to... Yeah, okay. Yep, that's not too bad. That's fine. I don't mind having the orcs there. They will generally leave us alone for now, I think. Um... Now, we have devious plans. Recruitment costs minus 15, upkeep for Skaven slaves. So, that's pretty cool. Um, what else have we got kicking around here? Right. So, Bill Bailey. We need to get the cash up, don't we? Let's do that. And then we'll do that one, and then we'll do that one. That will get our cash flowing again. Um... So I wouldn't mind replacing these guys with some uh, Skaven, uh, so some some Storm Vermin would be nice. Get a couple of, maybe two Halberds and the rest, they have four just shields. Just as a nice solid front line if we need it. Um, yeah. Just positioned wherever we need them, basically. Because the rest will be done mostly from range. Uh, okay, so that's about it for this turn. We're about to get into it. But that'll happen in the next one. Okay, we're back and ready to rumble. Devious Plans has finished. Uh, construction finished there. Devious Plans has finished. Knights of Arrigo are now at war with the... Jeez, the Knights of Arrigo, they're popular guys, aren't they? And we... Can we cause this earthquake this time? No, just going to miss. All right. Um, we can't besiege it yet, but that's okay. What we can do is get into position. And we're going to pull you back over here just so that we're together in case he wants to pop out. Um, yeah, interesting. Hmm. Into psychology, leadership plus three, knowledgeable magic, power reserve, enemy wins of magic minus five. Hmm. We're not, there's no real great lords here, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, psychology is okay, but uh, I mean, and leadership is good. 825 plus 3. The total army upkeep is estimated to increase by 1011. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so we can't quite do that just yet. Uh, let me see here. Set the leadership. Yeah, get that going. 
<sighs> what to do about this guy? That's the question. Um, he's definitely coming over there. They're pushing on me over this side. Uh, might be worth losing to Barra if we can game Ragliano though. What's the garrison here like? Not great. What has he got? No. Uh, might be Not good right. enough. Not amazing, but it does have a warp lock, a, a warlock in there, warlock engineer. So it's at least something. The night runners. Uh, it'll be a pretty hard fight, but we got plenty of surplus, so we could just bomb him to hell with them. <laughs> With the rocket, to be fair, we could just do that. So, uh, yeah, we don't have to worry too much about it. So we're going to the next turn. Machines and that sorcery. All right, so he has moved his... Uh, tinker, tinker. He's moved his other general here, which is great. Um, we're going to attack these walls. Um, so that's just cop that. Uh, we're gonna move. Master engineer. You and nice and close here. I say, say and then you, move. we're gonna attack this guy here. And that should draw them out. So I'm not fighting in the castle. I'm fighting him out in the open, which is really good for us. So. Um, because what that means is I can get my um, guys from below onto his his cannons, right? Knock them out and then use my superior range to, to take out a lot of his gear. Um, we've also got the uh, our friend in the fridge here, the warp storm rocket. So this one's going to be a good one, guys. Let's get into it. Which kill device? Hmm. I'm looking forward to this one. This is going to be a good battle. It'll be a big one, though. We're going to have to be very careful with using our, our rockets correctly. Um, and then from there, we've got to use our superior range. Once we've taken out his um, his artillery, that's, uh, that's our first objective. Take that artillery out. And then, uh, yeah, go from there. He's got a lot of, like... Um, halberds and things. So I'm going to, have to be very careful with my flyer. Um, it's going to have to really wait till these guys engage in the front line, then clean up this back line. Um, firepower. Right. We could have got a better one, but it's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, he has got that there. We could clean them up before they even get in there, couldn't we? And then bring our guys up. Uh, we're going to start deployment. Uh, right, now. It's actually not too bad. Um, how do I want to do this? So I probably want to put the two of you guys there. One, two, three. One, two. And run you. Like that. That way, we get the maximum amount of damage. We're going to be able to start shooting immediately. Because I want to take them out. Straight away. Um, and what we're going to do is, they're going to come back in here. So they've got a big load coming in, but my guys are coming in too. I'll be able to wreck these guys before they even get onto the battlefield, which is fun. Yeah, these guys here can't really do much at this stage. So we're going to go that, pop them all there for now. We're going to whack these guys. Hmm. Actually, no, that's not how we want to do it. I want to go... Two, three... Um, 
Okay, so I want to pull these guys back a little bit. Because they don't need to be that far forward. What's the range on that? More than enough range. Rightio, so they'll start firing immediately. So we can actually pull them back even a little bit further again. And they'll be able to get range on that. Excellent. You guys, you guys are going to need to hide in the woods. Because your job is to come in here and attack on the back side of things. So, um... Warlock Engineer! Warlock Engineer is going to go into there. Ticket Claw there. You... I don't want to get you giving as many of these. So I'm just wondering whether or not we put the warp law, the gazelles in the center and just have them fire straight down and then put these guys. But once start, shit starts rolling towards, I want them just pounding. If anything gets close to the center, that's where these guys come into it. It's going to always peel these guys back behind and they can shoot across or over. Um, I can just pull them back and they can shoot out. Whereas these guys kind of need that that line, don't they? So I think we'll stick with that for now. Um, we will get these guys. Back here, because... Yeah. I'm going to roll you wide as we can like so um we'll throw all the skaven slaves when they come in in front of that and that should be pretty good okay um so they're going to come piling in fairly shortly now this line here we're going to call you one and we are going to lock you into g when the time comes, you're going to reverse back to here. But for now... We've got hand gunners. Yep, cool. We're going to focus fire on this. Standard. Okay, and... Attack that. Okay. Deleted. Look at that. Okay then. You. Actually you. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'd say that's fairly effective. Now the Giselles, Giselles actually have shields, so that's pretty cool. Our boys, you know. Here's what I need you guys to do. I need you to go. Start here. Move across to there.
Okay. Seems to have done a good job there. going to happen sooner or later. Now we'll deal with that. Okay, you. Well, hang on. Go back there. Go back there. Get out. Okay. Kill the rest of them. Giselle's used up all their ammo. That was cool. Yeah, now we want to kill as many of these guys as we can. Kill as many as we can. I think that's going to be it. Alright, well he got deleted fairly quickly. <laughs> and um, I'm pretty sure we got a couple of their mortars, which is nice. Hmm. Ah, good cup of tea. Right, so not too bad. 
Uh, I think the Giselles did well. They just ran out of ammo really quickly. These guys did very well once stuff got into range. These guys basically did nothing. Uh, Might have been better off just putting, getting another one of these or even another Giselle. The Warlock Giselles need more ammo. That's definitely something we need to look into. Um, they did well. They were pulling shit apart. Um, obviously, Catapult's doing well, as always. Uh, they are such good, such good units. Um, but, I mean, yeah, pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Our backline didn't even get touched. So, yeah, not too bad. Losses a thousand. Remaining 550, 464. So we just, I mean, that was a stroke of luck in bringing his general there. We wanted to fight him in the open, and we got exactly that. Uh, yeah, we're going to take the food. Okay. Uh, Naval's ability, Sword of Anti-Heroes. 20 armor piercing. Well, that's not bad, that is. Not too bad at all. Leadership and attack. Oh, we got a Regiment of Renowned. Very nice. Warlock, Master of Scryer. Um, it's now time Machines and sorcery. for the attack, I think. You... Engineer, here. Can you... Why can you... Um... This way, right? Okay, and we pop you on there. You're gonna get up one. Ooh, spells or armor. Hmm. Uh, oh, what did we also needed ammunition, do we? Oh, uh, we really do need ammunition. We're getting to that particular stage, and also uh, reload time for the play calls would be good as well. We're gonna, this is where we start to really need to go down these trees. Um, cool. Okay, uh, all pretty no straightforward. Like Ickets devastation. Yes, yes. Uh, we're gonna go. Okay, well, we can't replan right now because we're engaging him. Um, he's got nothing left over there anyway. So. Yeah, he's basically got no walls. Number of breaches. Two. There's two breaches in the wall, so we actually don't need that. We can Let's just get straight wall. stuck I in. Are we gonna. Use those and Roger. let's go. Kill. Okay. He's got a couple of lords, but they're pretty knackered. Ah, oh, we'll gamble because it's only five. Start deployment. Okay, so where's our breaches in the wall? There's two here. So we've got pretty much a clear path right into the center here, which is lovely. Um, ooh, I mean, we could have used the Doom Rocket, but it shouldn't be needed at this stage. In the piece. Uh, we're going to head straight for this part here, I think. Um... Where's our friends? They're coming in there. Okay. Uh, we'll keep our keep our guns back for now. Uh, but what we will do is stick the play call catapults here, and they'll be ready to just fire on anything that we need them to fire on. Um, we'll pop you right here in the front to give you. Give them some bonuses. Uh, pop you guys back here. Um, Ikit can go this side. And our boys here. Yeah, they can stay this side. All right.
Okay. Let's go. Oh, he does have something. Okay. Get this one first. Those done. Bring them in there. Go over there. Shoot there. They're going to soak up some of the damage. And we're going to get that. Going to buff them all. And this will be dealt with pretty quickly. That one's done. Move on to that one. Okay, now, um... You, 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 and you. Over there. Okay, we're gonna move you and you up to there. This game of slaves are in the front. What does he actually have? He does have. Here we go. Those left. Deleted. Okay.
Okay, that's pretty much what she wrote, I think. Gave the slaves to their job. Man, I love play cool catapults. They're so good. What's that? Excellent. In the battle. That is Miragliano. Not too bad. So we're starting to see the power of the play claw, play claw catapults. I love these things. They're amazing. Um, still, I think the strongest um, unit in the Skaven roster um, by an epic mile, but this is more. I mean, on a on a PvP term, multiplayer term, it's probably a little bit different. To be fair, um, you don't see them that. I mean, they are in it. You usually don't bring a Skaven army without one, but um, yeah, I love them. I think they're great in the campaign. They're just you can't not have an army without them. I like them much more than the Warp Lightning Cannon, to be honest with you. Um, they're just fantastic at dealing with units and with their armor pierce they're just yeah they're just really really good Victory. get them fairly early and you can take them right into the late game uh, we're going to take that to three it does take back our bits and pieces here a little bit but we do have the wood elves on our bum and i'm very aware of that um now and this isn't far for them to come down i want to get walls on this as quickly as possible. Um, dark. Oh. Wow, look at all the cash we got out of that. That was nice. Uh, definitely going to go up on that. And that. And that. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Food production. That's the one we want. That's the pastures. Really nice. And we can get an assassin in here, so we'll probably do that. So that was a pretty good spend. Um, our army did really, really well. I was very happy with them. Uh, yeah, it was good. It was really, really good. So, uh, more ammunition for our warp lock Giselles. This will get us down to 20% extra and reload time reduction 10% for, for everything. So that's that's really, really powerful for a Skaven army. And then obviously we're going to go down into here. Um, uh, mold. That, I don't usually do mold much because, you know, if you're playing Scry, you don't really need these guys. Um, there's not really any room for them. Storm Vermin I'll usually do. Infiltrator I won't unless I'm running an Eshin campaign. And Pack Leader I never bother with for my main characters. It's just a waste of time. You, you can eventually go to go Storm Vermin. So you're better off not spending the points. And there's better places to spend them. But yeah. So, uh, pretty good so far. He's doing all right. Um, now, he, on the other hand, is a bit different. We are going to change him up shortly to... Um, 
All right, these guys are still pretty knackered, and we've got our allies, our defensive allies, just sort of sitting here, so we're okay at the moment. They're at 53 plus 9, so not too bad. we got our Regiment of Renown. I should really get him, shouldn't I? How much is he going to cost us? Uh, he costs us 500. Yeah, okay, so we can get him. Uh, let's replan the army. Warlock engineer. Nice. Okay. He's meat shield. He's just got flaming attacks, basically. He's pretty much the same. He's just he's just a veteran with flaming attacks. So he's got some goodies, but um, there's, there's nothing major. Uh, what are these guys? They, they cost money to recruit. Uh, we haven't really lost any of that. Now, we need to move quickly on Lucinia before someone else decides to get smart with it. Um, so we're going to move you straight down. Pull you out of that. And move you straight down. Yeah, because we want to get there before... Yeah, we can, we can deal with that with our army. Uh, we want to get there and deal with that before he gets a chance to do it. And then we should probably find, if we can, see if we can... Ready to sword. Let us hope what you have to say, please. Get a non-aggression Alright. Well, I mean, we can take him as well if we really need to. Um, so the rest is pretty good. Uh, Miragliano was a really good find, and we're straight up to level three. Um, we'll have walls. We've got Death Runners in here. Really nice. Look at that. Death Runners. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, straight up. Wow, okay. What does this give us? Two Plague Core, Catapults, one Warlock, uh, Plague Monk, Plague Monk Sense of Area, Storm Vermin, Rat Ogres, Gutter Runners, Slingers, Poison Wind, Bobadiers 2, and Skaven Slingers. Very nice. Very nice. Food capacity plus five. Uh, yeah, cool. Death runners get changed over. Or storm vermin with halberds. Yeah, okay. Very nice. All right. Um, essentially, this is going to bring us a heap of cash as soon as it's finished. So we are probably looking at getting our third lord um, moving in. If we move into Sartosa... How much there? Sartosa's got quite the... Uh, yeah, we'd probably want to use a doom on the walls and then uh, probably a rocket into it as well. Get rid of mortars and bits and pieces, bloated corpses and explode the lot of them. That's probably what we want to do. Um, but so far, so good. And this one's run a little bit long, guys. So uh, that'll be it for us. Thank you very much for watching. I apologize for this one going a bit longer, but we were taking the city, of course. Um, as always, guys, if you're enjoying the... Uh, the series and you're enjoying the legendary series for Ikit Core, then please do drop a like. It really helps the channel. I cannot stress that enough how much it helps. I'm a very, very small channel. It's hard for people to see my stuff. So, um, and share guys. If you know friends who might like, um, go ahead, feel free to share my stuff on in um, discords or wherever. If you think it's worth watching by others, then do, do go ahead and share, it's cool. Um, if you're new around here, then do hit up the subscribe button if you want to see more of this content. If you've been watching for a while and you want to help support, then for as little as a dollar a month, you can hit up my Patreon. Links are in the description below. Uh, do leave a comment, guys. I love hearing from you. And that's really about it. Um, I'm really enjoying the series. I hope you are too. Thank you very much for your time, and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah, 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 oh, oh.